up everyone and welcome back. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to make some really fun back to school DIY projects that I think turned out so, so cute. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys a few of my favorite life hacks for going back to school and just school in general. I use these, so I think that you guys will really like them and you'll really benefit from knowing them. And before we get into the video, I wanted to share with you guys this really cool app that I've been obsessed with recently and it's called Crafty. So basically Crafty is a social media app but for people who love to DIY and as you guys know I love making DIYs if you've watched a bunch of the DIY videos on my channel and I'm sure you guys like making DIYs too that's probably why you're watching this video. Crafty has tons of forums and there's a news feed where you can see what other people are making and DIYing which I think is so cool because you can draw inspiration from that and you guys can share your ideas together and it's just an awesome way to meet people who love making DIYs and crafting. I'll have the link down below in the description box for Crafty. Be sure you definitely go and download it and when you download crafty be sure to go and like my most recent post on my page to be automatically entered to win a $50 Amazon gift card which is amazing and I'm having a huge giveaway right now on my channel where I'm giving away a pair of Beats headphones a bunch of school supplies for going back to school a Target gift card and more so if you like to enter that all you have to do is just be subscribed to my channel so you can click the button you see right here on the screen or hit the button down below and then just be sure you're following me on my Twitter and my Instagram you can also add me on snapchat because that'd be pretty cool but once you do all of that you will automatically be entered to win and enough of me talking let's go ahead and get on into this video and I hope you guys like it so for this first DIY, I'm going to show you guys how to make this adorable notebook. I am obsessed with how it turned out. I think it is so, so cute. So I started off by taking a piece of patterned paper and then I just cut it out to fit on the front of my notebook. Next, I just added an even layer of Mod Podge glue onto the back of my piece of paper and then I just glued that down onto my notebook, making sure all of the edges were secure and you want to work fast with this process because the glue does dry pretty fast. So I found this really pretty gold and pink sparkly paper. At Michael's craft store and I just measured where I needed to cut it off that way it would fit on the front of my notebook and then once I did that I just cut it into some thin strips so I did two gold strips and two of the pink sparkly paper strips but of course you can do as many stripes as you would like on your notebook I just thought it looked really pretty with this kind of design so now that I cut out all my strips of paper I'm just laying them out so I get the exact look that I want and finally to finish off the notebook just go ahead and glue down your strips of paper and after that you you are good to go. Not only was this notebook super easy to make, but it was also super inexpensive to make as well because I feel like if you saw this notebook in a store, it would be very, very pricey. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. So this next notebook is inspired by a notebook I actually saw on Urban Outfitters and it was like 20 some dollars which is crazy and it just said killing it on it so I'm like you know what I can totally make this myself. Like the first notebook I just took a piece of patterned paper and cut it out to fit on the front of my notebook and then I just glued that down with some Mod Podge. And to finish off the notebook, I just took some sticker letters that I got at the craft store and I just spelled out killing it like you get it, you're gonna be killing it at back to school. So I just stuck all of my sticker letters on and instead of just spelling it straight across like normal and basic, I kind of like went all cool with the letters because that's what the Urban Outfitters notebook looked like and I thought it was really, really cool. So I'm so happy with how this notebook turned out and I think it's really unique and you won't see anyone else have anything like it. For this last DIY, we are making this pencil container, which is great to help keep you organized with all your pens and pencils that get left all over your desk. So to start off this DIY, you're going to want to take some ceramic paint that you can get at the craft store for only 99 cents each, which is a great deal. And then after that, I found this really cool ceramic vase at Target, and I think it was like $5. So altogether, this is really inexpensive to make. Anyways, all you have to do is just take your paint and start painting your ceramic vase. So I took gold, blue, purple, and pink because those are like my favorite color combos together. So I just painted my vase and it didn't actually take too long. I was surprised, but I did do two coats on my entire vase. That way it would be super opaque. And after that, you are all good to go. I think this is such an easy thing to do and it helps add a cute pop of color to your desk while keeping you organized. 
life hack number one is something that I've been doing for quite a while now, and if you've never heard of this, then hopefully this will really help you out. So all you need to do for this life hack is just take some sticky notes and write out important reminders like tests that are coming up, important papers that are due, maybe extracurricular activities that you have, or anything that's important that you don't want to forget. So just write those out onto your post-it notes and put them somewhere where you are a lot. So for me, I'm always by my desk working on videos for you guys and doing homework, so this is where I like to keep my sticky notes, but feel free to keep them wherever you are, but they're great reminders, that way you cannot procrastinate or forget anything. This next life hack is going to save you a lot of frustration because I know that we've all been there when our headphones get tangled. I know the struggle is real. It's so frustrating to try to untangle them again, but all you need to fix this is just to take a mint container and then just go ahead and take your headphones and neatly wind them up with your fingers like so. Stick them into your mint container and you're good to go. Seriously, it's so easy and I promise your headphones will not get tangled anymore. And if you want to, you can even add some paper onto the front of your mint container to make it look a little Little bit cuter. So this next hack is going to save you, I promise, because I know that we've all been there when our gym bag or our PE bag is smelling really bad and our running shoes too. So all you need to fix this is just take some dryer sheets and just stick a few of those into your gym bag to make it smell a little bit fresher. And don't forget about your running shoes either because I know my running shoes can definitely smell bad after I have a really good workout. So I just stick a couple of those into my running shoes. I leave those in overnight, take them out in the morning and they smell so much much better. <laughs> This last hack has helped me out a ton and hopefully will help you guys out too. So what I do is I like to take one of these folder things and I label it as homework and then I have like math, language arts, science, history, all that kind of stuff is neatly labeled and then I will add in all of my finished homework or my new homework assignments. That way I will not lose anything and all of your assignments will be organized so you are good to go. That is it for this video. Be sure to let me know what you thought of it in the comments below or you could also give me a thumbs up. That way I know all of my hard work is really paying off and you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much and God loves you too. Don't forget to remember to smile because you guys are all so beautiful. You're amazing and special and unique in your own way. And I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.